Hey guys, get level here. And for all you Twitch streamers out there, I have a brand new pack for you. The pack is an animated overlay, not overlay, animated alerts pack available right now at gumroad.com slash get level. I just dropped it and I thought I would share what's inside the pack with you. So if you go to gumroad.com slash get level, you will see it right here. It's called sharp. That's the name of the alerts pack. You click on it and then you can get it Read the product description as always, it will tell you exactly what's inside the pack, but I will also tell you what exactly what's inside the pack. So what's exactly inside the pack is nine different alerts that are all animated and they all have the same style. So I'm gonna play this. This is the little preview that you can find on Gumroad. Boom. And as you can see, we have bits, donations, followers, gifted subs, host, merch, raid, resub, and subscriber. I know that a lot of streamers do not use specific alerts for resubs or for gifted subs or for raids. I think this is the perfect occasion for you to step your game up. Every single alert lasts up to 15 seconds, but usually your alerts will last less than that. So you can cut it short if you want to in whatever service that you're using. Now talking about services, you're either using a Streamlabs or Stream Elements. Maybe you're using something else, but those are the most popular ones. So I'm gonna show you how you can import them into those services. Let's start with Streamlabs. You go to streamlabs.com, you log in with your Twitch information, and then you're gonna be here. That's the dashboard. So you're gonna find alert box on the left here. And if you can't find it, you just type in a search thing alert boom alert box settings then they're gonna give you a tutorial you can read this if you want but i'm gonna show you what to do so general settings we want them default let's go to follows here so we can upload the follow one we're gonna keep it so image is on top of the text okay because those alerts are not meant to have text over them and right here you will probably see a little gif or an image here you're gonna change that by clicking that little upload icon here boom and then you can click on uploads and this is where you can upload some all right now since we are in the follower tab we want to select follower let's click open and wait a couple seconds for it to upload and once it's done uploading it will appear here so you just click on it once until you see that check mark you click select underneath it you can select whatever sound you want to put and then the alert duration so if you set this to eight seconds the alert will play for eight seconds even though the full video is 15 seconds then here you can click save settings and you're pretty much good to go if I scroll up here and I go launch, for example, it will open like a green screen tab to show me what the alert would look like. Don't worry, my alerts are transparent. And now I can click test follow. Boom. I will go into detail a little bit later, but if you want to add this to OBS Studio, you just click copy here and then you import a browser source. And if you want to add it to Streamlabs OBS, all you have to do is add a new source, go alert box, and then boom, you have it. All right, how do you do this in Stream Elements, for example? Let's go back to the dashboard. So you go to streamelements.com, you get to your dashboard here, and then you go to My Overlays. Assuming that you already have an overlay there, you will select that overlay, but that's fine. I will actually create a new overlay just to make sure that everything is clear and there's no confusion. All right, resolution is gonna be 1080p, uh, add widget, alert, alert box, boom. As you can see here, follow alert up top here. I can click on the cogwheel and there's the little animation that's already there. I can click change video and I can drag and drop. I'm gonna bring this here, for example, we want follower. Let's drag and let's drop. All right, there it is. Nice, so we can submit and it will be there. There we have it. If we want to test it, for example, and uh, place it and all of that, we can click emulate follower event. It will show up like that. Now, of course, our size is not correct here. So let's close the follower settings and let's click on position and style. This is where you would put something like 1080p. So we're going to set the width to 1920 by 1080. And we're going to center a widget and now we're going to emulate. Boom. And as you can see, the text will appear underneath it. And then, of course, you decide what you want your text to look at. You might have to, you'll definitely have to play around with the size in order to make it fit. And of course, in order to add this, let's name it Unnamed Overlay 2. We're going to click Save. And there will be a link right here. And that's the link that you can import into OBS Studio. If you're using OBS Live, I believe you will have a source to import overlays. Either way, it's going to be a browser source. For example, here in OBS Studio, I'm going to click on the plus. I'm going to go to browser. I'm going to click OK and I'm going to copy. I'm going to paste the link here, actually. And then the size is 1920 by 1080. Remember that. And we can click OK. 
And if I emulate it, this is what it will look like. I'm showing it on, on this because yeah, uh, you get it. And same thing for Streamlabs OBS. If you're using Stream Elements as your alerts, you can just copy the link paste it as your browser source, put it 1080p and boom. So basically you do that for every single alert that you want to appear and uh, you'll be fine. One last thing that I want to show you is that if you don't like the color of the alerts, you can right click on the browser source where the alert is. You can click on filters. We're going to add a new filter, clicking on the plus underneath uh, fil effect filters. Click color correction, click OK, and then play with the hue shift until you find something that you like. Let's say that this is what I like, and uh, we can emulate it now. Now it's green. So any color that you want, you can make it happen. Just play with the hue shift and the other settings until it looks like something you want. So do not worry about the blue. If your color scheme is different, this alert can still be applied to your stream. Exactly the same thing for Streamlabs OBS. All right, so one thing I cannot stress enough is you guys need to read the product description before downloading, before buying anything in life in general. <laughs> this overlay pack is not free. It's actually less than a dollar right now, but if you're watching this in the future, the price probably went up. Another thing that I want to touch on is that you can actually make some extra money by promoting my Gumroad page, gumroad.com slash get level. There will be a form in the description that you can fill in order to apply to be an affiliate for my Gumroad page. You will receive your own special link and anyone that buys from this link, you're getting percentage. So you guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, share with your streamer friends that need some new alerts. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Join the Discord if you have any questions about the alerts. And then check out what the algorithm gods want you to watch next. At the bottom of it, you will see my most recent video. So check it out. Keep on learning about live streaming. Follow me on social media. And I will see you guys next time. Go out there. Make me proud. Get level out.